1950s, Byron and Lita Swartz called Decatur Street home. Decatur runs east to west, intersecting with Mill Street, which travels north and south. While some aspects of the neighborhood have changed over the years, several of the homes remain, just as they were in 1956, when this film was taken. Byron had a passion for working on cars, and it wasn't uncommon to see him tinkering with his old Ford Model A, driving it around town once he had it up and running. He took great pride, not only in his vehicles, but also in his little town. To him, everyone here was family, or at the very least, a friend. Many, but I'm sure not all, of his friends will be shown in the films he left us. In 1957, Fredericksburg completed work on its new reservoir, perched atop East Hill. Here, we observe the reservoir being filled, using water from the town fire department's tanker truck. As Byron films, he pauses to pan across the valley, showcasing some of the town's recognizable landmarks. In the foreground, the Church of Christ known as the Christian Church at the time, stands as a familiar sight. <music> Further beyond, the imposing old Fredericksburg schoolhouse remains, a structure still standing to this day. Behind the school to the left, we catch a glimpse of the Fredericksburg Pottery, a local institution that in 1965 tragically burned down. The site is now home to the Robin Industries building. Off to the right, we see the Slutes and Sun Elevator, another town fixture that has since vanished from the landscape. Byron takes one last shot of his own house on Decatur Street, which also stands today. When we look just north of the square, we find the current Presbyterian Church, a relatively new structure built only a few years ago. This modern building occupies the same historic ground as its predecessor, the original Presbyterian Church which was erected in 1882. In about 1960, the older church underwent a significant cleaning and restoration effort, dramatically transforming its appearance. This footage shows the striking contrast between the building's condition before and after the cleanup, revealing the care taken to preserve its legacy at that time. The 
church continued to evolve even after this restoration. In the 1990s, a new church steeple was installed some three decades later, which was yet another chapter in the congregation's long history. Fredericksburg, with its small-town atmosphere, has always exuded a warm and inviting charm. The town's friendly streets and tight-knit community evoke a similar sense of nostalgia, reminiscent of simpler times. Here we see one of Fredericksburg's young mothers, Marilyn Spencer, with her daughter, Deborah. Behind them is Marilyn's sister-in-law, Margaret Spencer Bear. and Marilyn's Aunt Lita Swartz can't resist holding her new grandniece. Let's go around town and see who else we find.
doesn't remember the joy of playing on a bouncy horse. Always a favorite, they brought endless fun to childhood. Back in the 1950s and 60s, getting a new outfit for Easter Sunday was a cherished tradition. The women would don their finest dresses, often accompanied by a stylish hat and a corsage. We'd also wake up early for the Easter sunrise service at the cemetery. Even the kids were dressed to impress. Now mom and dad just need to keep them still long enough for a photograph. Apparently the sunrise service is a bit too early for some. Just across the street from the church stands the old firehouse. In this 1963 film clip, we see Fire Chief Heber Spencer. Behind the wheel is Carl Lytle. Accompanied by former Fire Chief Louis Fuzz Boring. Watching them closely is a young Mark Lytle. The fire truck is still in the possession of the town and often makes an appearance in the town parade. This video footage was shot on July 4th, 1991. Fredericksburg has a long history of volunteers who put others before themselves. We owe them a great debt of gratitude. In the 1950s, a lively vocal group known as the Silly Seven brought harmonies and joy to the halls of Fredericksburg High School. All these bitter things I find should have read that deep Composed of Jeannie Boring, Phyllis Benson, Joyce Richeson, Janice Swartz, Phyllis Hall, Janice Heileman, and Phyllis Carr. The group had a special bond that was as enduring as their love for music. They were featured on television out of Columbus, Ohio, 
and sang often on Worcester radio station WWST. As one of the group members, Phyllis Miller, fondly recalled, Imagine seven girls who were friends in the truest form. We never argued about anything. Decades later, in 1991, Fredericksburg came together for the celebration of 100 years of classes in the school building. As part of the festivities, six of the original Silly Seven were able to reunite for a special performance. The group revived one of their favorite tunes from the 50s. Though decades had passed, their voices and camaraderie were just as strong as ever. Thankfully, a recording of their singing remains, a treasured keepsake that preserves their joyful voices and the bond they shared. This is a film of me and my friend Andy Shaw. Yes, that's me in the red hat. As you watch, it will become clear that I thought this was the Eric show. Looking back, I'm a bit embarrassed by how I acted, but I was young. I'm sure my mother was correcting me as she filmed. You can even see me trying to reason with her. Yep, I was sometimes a little bossy with my friends. No, stay down there, Andy. It's my movie. Now I'd like to think that I have matured a lot since then and learned to be a better friend. Andy has remained my friend all these years and it's probably because he's the one who put in the effort to keep us connected. You see, friendship is a delicate balance, often unnoticed in its depth. We don't always realize when we're not being the best friend we could be. But that's the beauty of true friendship. When one of us falters, the other steps in with patience and forgiveness. In the best friendships, grace flows freely because we all need it from time to time. As we navigate life and remember those who have shaped us, those who have gone before,
let us choose the peaceful path. Let us strive to be the better friend. Knowing that whether we realize it or not, our friends strive to do the same. Turn the camera off. 